everything just really started here as far as lo learning to love medicine. I really sort of came into my own here, really felt like a California girl. So when I got rid of my glasses, I used to carry around a briefcase instead of a backpack to school because that's what my mom carried around. And actually I am still to this day mesmerized by the fact that I still actually had friends. I heard that you skipped out on senior skip day and you got suspended. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dr. Lisa taking her son Daniel for a walk around her old high school. And Dr. Lisa has written a new book. It's called Paper Dollhouse. It's a poignant memoir about her childhood and the road to her becoming a doctor. Daniel, your mom's sitting here now. You've got the whole world watching. What do you want to say to your mom? I just, I can't say anything more than you're my hero, mom. And I couldn't be prouder than you. Proud of you. So sweet. I mean, <laughs> my sweetie pie. I change your diapers too. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You've learned a lot of other skills along the way because, like we said, when Dr. Lisa entered the world of medicine, she needed the smarts, she needed the ambition, but it's actually her passion for helping others that just can't be taught. My mother always said, if you want to ever be taken seriously as a black woman, you can't just do what the other kids do. You have to do double so that I could be whatever I wanted to be, that I would have no obstacles in my life. One of my favorite toys was my chemistry set. And I think that was probably the start of when I knew I was liking sciences. One of the things that really changed me was when my brother and I would go down to my grandmother's for the summers. And this one summer, my brother got really, really sick. We actually took him into town to, to the doctors. And she took us around to the back, like this basement area. She said, that door is where the white people go in. I was so, so mad. I went around to the front door and I went in and I just said, how dare you? This is just awful. This is medicine. There is no place ever that there should be any discrimination. And that's when, you know, it was like, to be a doctor means <laughs> this is going to change. When I was in med school, we actually fought over our cadaver most of the time. That formaldehyde smell, that gets into your skin, it gets into your hair. I loved it every, every step of the way, and that's when I fell in love with medicine. My mom was at my medical school graduation, and my son joined me up there. It was a really big deal. I got into the residency program at LA County. They were just notorious. They used to do 12 to 15,000 deliveries. 48 and 72 hour shifts were not unheard of. You knew if you trained there that you were going to be one of the best doctors in the country. When I was delivering this woman and it was like 4 a.m. and I was here in between this woman's legs and I think I'd been there for like an hour trying to get her to push. And then I delivered this baby. The morning sun was coming in and it, it lit up the room like gold. And I realized I had been up all night and I was energized. And I just came out of there feeling like, wow. I just brought a baby into the world. It was phenomenal. I, I couldn't do anything else. I really couldn't do anything else or be anything else than what I am.